All right, folks, round three, check in. We'll pick up where we left off in class. The audio's a little bit off. I forgot my, um, my something, my microphone at the house. So sometimes just do what you do. All right. So trust us, let's get that off the top edge, bring it down a little bit, down and to the right. I would say don't really introduce what it does yet. I just want entry. I might actually zoom in on a portion, like zoom in ah, this section here, because all I really need to be convinced is like, do I want to keep reading this? This is an intriguing image. Um, the downside of showing the full image off the get-go is, well, looks like something I already own. I don't need it. so. By giving less information, you're actually giving yourself more opportunity. So let's save some of this for later on. No problem. I right, Justice, you know me frustrated with you, right? Because like, what's the problem? <laughs> if you've seen literally one other Ryobi thing that I've talked about is you have to explain the OnePlus system for this to make sense. Right? Why did Ryobi come and approach y'all and say we need something new? It's because you're expanding their line into other like lifestyle brands. One of the opportunities is in the shop. So explain what the OnePlus brand is. That way you have some buy-in, some uh, viability to your product, which right now you don't because you don't have it. Um, and then what are the problems that exist, right? You show me the market, but what makes that $90 one three times as good as that cat? And all these don't have battery packs on them, so what's the advantage of having a battery pack? Right? If you tell me a problem, like, damn it, we've done with every other project, and starting off like, what's the problem? I would understand it, but you skipped over it. So don't be surprised that I'm pissed off. Right? That's a problem. Set the problem up that we can solve and get credit for it. But right now you're just like showing me a, a highlight reel. It's not really a design project. I can't pre appreciate the good stuff because I don't know what's out there. So, sectional. In between here, if you're going to work on your truck by yourself at home, what are some of the problems? What are some of the solutions? You can show me like a marketing analysis like where... Oh man, these are expensive. Um, you can give me like an XY chart. One's cost. You've already covered cost. But performance is another thing that's important. And like there is one of these for every person. But why does yours fit perfectly in the $100 market? And it still is. A, maybe this is some type of engine power, some type of battery. I don't know. But you got to justify the OnePlus system. I feel like this one, one these uh, margins aren't benefiting you at all so that should be full bleed top and bottom but they explain me some of the benefits right I know there's benefits not that one but benefits here and then the next page can be details which you already have covered here I feel like that should be this can't just sit here though that's okay that's okay it's kinda weird Maybe just blow it up, right? So scale and then reduce down to this section. That way I can see that part, which correlates to that part as your magnetic tool holder. Then you show me context, which is good. So I'm frustrated because you, you you know what's going on, but you didn't set it up like that. So I mean the position is bad, I'm just frustrated. reading. Scale up just a little bit in the font, maybe two point, two point sizes. You can't say they're thrown. Discard is a better word here. Flat pack study chairs. I mean, what's a study chair though?
There's lots of chairs. Like I need to know what the, the marketing competition is. And the only person I know who's throwing away stuff was like your college seniors who are graduating. So presently, I need you to justify or show me figures of, yeah, people throw these things away. Because I don't know people who throw away a lot of chairs. They're more likely to donate them. Let's go from three sentences to two sentences. Design and fabricate a study chair that meets comfort requirements. Comfort requirements, shipping requirements, and is aesthetically beautiful out of bent plywood. Okay, not bad. All right, so I'm really interested is like, because I know what the final one looks like, like, okay, it doesn't really get a lot more developed out of here. But then you go and make the small models a big thing. I'm cool with this picture. But what did you learn from the small ones? We know you were critiqued. You want to make sure the aesthetic looked right, but give me more intentional. Based on the scale of study model, I learned that info, info. Instead of clean joints, maybe appropriate joinery and hardware. Because clean joints, clean in that context, means they just got, they got polished, like they were dirty. Full scale mock up might be a good title for this. You're telling me like why it's important. I want to know like the plywood was the ideal prototypical material because I learned that I could only achieve a two inch rounded edge or two inch radius edge. That's what I'm interested. Like you're telling me what hypothetically you're gonna do, and I'm more interested in what was actually done. This is more of a fabrication process. The most of us uh, shoot fabric fabrication process down. Most of the time I'm going to shoot it down, but this time I'll leave it up. Because, I mean, you're not using the process. I mean, this process is 50 years old. I mean, it's cool to use the CNC, but like that doesn't make that a better piece. It means you get it done faster. Most of my shoot it down, but I'll, I'll say leave that there. Say both of these, see if you can get it down to five lines instead of four lines. Have a cherry feel and any final changes? Stab it. We prototyped with clamps and wood to better learn of the functionality. Um, I learned the approximate hardware sizes that were required to support the load. Additionally, I like this part that they would spread over. So they think, this is where you have to do like the creative problem solving. This is what I'm really excited about. I think this is another like I would the legs spread out over 30 pounds. That's what they need to read. And it might be bold, but because it's so gray, it doesn't stand out enough. So it might bring some more black that way it stands out. Like in order for me to actually appreciate your project, I have to read 
which is okay. To friction. Okay. I'm, I want a zoomed in shot about this though. Alright, so they're coming. Maybe a better quote. So I hear Randy saying that and I kind of giggle. It is a bit hard to read these because of the, the floor. So I'd like you to try something. Take like a gradient, uh, a black, somewhat transparent gradient that fades into nothingness, or it's fuzzy on the edges. Place it on the bottom of the three images, maybe four. That way your white text can sit on top of it and I can read it. No. Yes. Get rid of that one. Keep this one. Actually, I don't really care that it's been in three exhibitions at Auburn. I mean, it's, it's a nice... I think it's something I would put in your resume, but not necessarily in your portfolio. Also a useful want. That's a terrible catchphrase. We talked about the necessity to create something that people actually want to keep from uh, for a long time, especially maybe for college students that are probably the worst at throwing things away. And at the very end, you call it a useful want. It's not even a necessity. Please come up with a better catchphrase than this. Barrett's bees. I wonder, because I really want shelf displays. Because at first, you're working for Brit Spees. That's my assumption. Um, how do we say this? Product packaging that might be too long, but shelf ready display, shelf ready display research is too long. But, I don't know, maybe it's fun. I just wanted to know that we're working on the, the packaging of the packaging rather than the Burt's Bees lip balm. Good. I'm curious how this would look flat though, and how it would ship. I guess if it folds flat it works, but I don't know if it does or does not. I'm looking for you to solve the problem of this, right? So. Support, sure. Organize is what I'm interested in. How does yours help organize the, the products? So, gravity. It's pretty sick and good, Miss Kaylee. Well done. Abram. Good. What is a Rabi one system? 
I'm not really even sure we need this here. Because I know you're going to tell me more about the OnePlus system. And I don't want you to tell me a lot of information up front when you're going to tell me just a second. This this is page is sort of this intrigue and context. And then you introduce me to the problem, which is you've got to extend the brand usefulness of this product. Man, if you could take out four words in this entire thing, it'd look a lot better, right? So one, two, three, and then back system off so you actually have a little space to breathe on the edge. So visually I can tell what, what's going on before I have to read it. I think that's the goal. Try this guy, right? So that goes straight up, that goes straight down. This one because you're a little constrained. Wave went up and then had a little 45, went down, then had a 45, went up, and then actually used a 45 because you need it and see if it takes away some of that awkwardness. All right, so you pitched a, um, a broom. Do you think these would be flip flopped? Because there's pollen, sawdust, and just normal dust in a shop. Which would argue for the point, all right, yeah, this is good for respiratory uh, requirements. You would like to have some type of um, some vacuum cleaner. So do you flip these back and forth? You don't have to, but it feels like, all right, I've decided on a vacuum, and then you do a vacuum, then, hey, I decided to do a vacuum, and let me justify it with fact. I'm cool with this. I like this graphic. Spacing's a bit funky. I do like this guy. I'm worried that I have to read so much into this that it's an essential thing. Air cylinder home, interior, exterior, they have these covered. Question mark. I think that's very valid. starting to think I'm starting to think this could be like just two pages that bunch of information that below this bunch of information second page do we need this though Yes, because you're not vacuuming, you're directing air in a more uniform fashion, right? I think handle development either goes on the next page or it doesn't go at all. Because it feels like it's forced, right? It's a full page, it's one full idea. And then you feel like you had to throw those in there. So right now I say hold off. Unless you find a different way to do it. Yeah, I'd like this to be a bit bigger that way because you talk about the spreading inhibits precision. So a bigger image, a bigger image can communicate that. So yeah, let's just stick to this here. I think this should be the final page showing how you can, you know, shoot air and particles with precision. Exploded views, other details. I might drop the gray a little bit to be darker. 
for these one, two, and that one's kind of stuck as it is. Three. This almost comes across as like a graphic itself, not so much an image. So if you take this guy out, you can show me the two functions. So height adjustment. You can give me a zoom in on what that well not air intake, but opposite air output looks like. And then this should really be in context, that's why I think finishing with that and reaffirming that it, it meets your uh, original goals is going to be important. Okay, if you say so. Sure, there's too many. I don't know, man. <laughs> you have any idea, like, how many uh, home speakers are, how many Bluetooth speakers they are? Went to CES last year. Everybody has one. Everybody and everybody's mom has one. Portable speaker, Phantom. So, what is this price point? Because these get them to like the hundreds. That gives them to the multiple hundreds. Ugh, thousands. Disgusting. not portable okay that kind of puts you up here low price point so I'm, I'm a bit skeptical of the gap I'm not really sure it's I don't know Let's see if you can convince me ah ported not ported I do like this uh, argument also these look crunchy and you put your crunchy things next to perfectly created vectors. Also crunchy. That's in focus. You also make a good argument with the music. So, touche. Doing the sketches. Something hiding over here. Let's Photoshop some of this out. I feel like I want it to scale a few things up to take more of the, the, the horizontal space up. Vertically, I think it's fine horizontally. I think it's skewed out a little bit. Man, these freaking vignettes are awful. Because really, this guy should sit right here. This guy should be scaled up and sit over here. So I would suggest dismantling some of these things, maybe getting rid of the vignettes. Also, it's a cutoff sketch. Yeah, that's a placeholder. I think you know that too. Do we need another sketch? All right, because you solved like the form there. Here I'm interested in if you are talking about ported or not ported in like a cross section view. And instead of doing it here, what if you do this off the actual 3D model? see if there's an image I'd like here so let's use this image or section view of this for this graphic because you've already like shown it multiple times right you have this half view I know what it looks like and then just a vectorized version isn't much different and if you are going to end on an image I want to end on this one I like the context a lot what about like if you want to put this in a magazine, what would that page look like? Overall, not a bad design project at all. Just needs a few finishing touches. Oh, here it is again. I've missed you, Tumble. point the only thing I would like some help visualizing is what is three point what, three seven point six million tons of food look like 
if we could visualize that. Is that like they, the weight of a football stadium? I don't know. I'd, I'd like to visualize that if possible. Small cows composting. Yes. Uh huh. That's the next part that I want you to take on. Why don't people compost? Or what's a marketing analysis look like? But why? All right, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're doing the real stories. Lack of bees, lack of desire. Too much here. How can we simplify this? Also, the width is funny. It's, can we bring in like this box? Let's get that more into the middle. Bring the green over a sum, and then either make this fit. Just because the overlap is annoying. So graphically, work this out. But in terms of story, I like the argument you're making. All right, I like seeing lots of volume considered. Could you actually pull this off? I don't. I want to see this at like full bleed, which means get rid of that margin and get rid of this margin. But I'm not sure if that's a good choice. But what I don't like is the color difference here. So see if you can copy and paste or clone stamp this off white into the area. That way it's like a, a full page. Because if you scale it up, it might look too um, condensed against the border. But here it looks fine. But you see how it starts turning into a gray on white. I would opt for a third less the images, right? Because they're all almost detail images. I wouldn't mind mixing up some big ones and some small ones, but them all being the same size. You've got this problem of hierarchy where everything's second hierarchy because of the size and contrast. So I would remove a few, pick your best ones, scale them up, and then also keep some details. And for the love, I'd like things to line up. There we go. <laughs> Part one, the collector. Some sequence of use I think would be good. I mean, you are talking about the details, but uh, maybe a sequence of use and then the details. How to use it is more interesting to me at this point. Instead of a green person, dark gray. Jar of features, that's messed up. Alright, good project. You've got tons of images for it. I would remove some of them. Even on this one and this one. This one definitely. Too many images. I mean, either grab another page or eliminate some stuff. But primary. Secondary, secondary, tertiary, fourth level. Simplify it so that I don't have to hunt everywhere for information. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, this one. Page numbers are off, right? Yeah, plus I've already seen this in the studio multiple times. Yep, good to go. Let me make sure everything's copacetic.
I think at some point we had talked about having a hand hold this thing. Right? For its uh, auxiliary function. Alright. I'll already talk to you a lot about that one, it's good. Everybody's coming at me with the rusty projects. Alright, design brief. Design sustainable furniture that avoids waste. It's kind of like Argent's, if I'm being honest. Target market. Perhaps. Poor Supuesto. though. Actually, sorry, that's of course. Quizás. Un imagines. Of um, young adults, right? So you have like these circles, so maybe you can replicate circle young adult like I could read this but also if I was if I go through quick young adults yep young adults affordable versus sustainable that's your this is your competition right IKEA Prices increased by materials such as reclaimed wood and expensive processes used to recover these materials. Where are you getting this from? Is this opinion or is this fact? I mean, I think the reason why young adults don't buy furniture is one, they're an atrocious college debt. Um, second one is we're on an experience economy, not so much a purchasing economy, purchasing uh, product economy. And then third is, and there are products that do reclaim wood, but I don't think that's the majority, just because it's difficult and expensive to do that. I think your your goal is you're fighting against um, young adults buying furniture that's low quality that only has like one option. There are three options. Waste, by far the most popular. Reuse it, donate, yeah, but it's still bad. I agree. Visually, I want to go waste, recycle, then reuse. Keep it visually balanced because this is a bit like right heavy. I agree. I think you can you can flip flop it and still be good. How can the end of life for furniture be supported by a more sustainable system. Hold up, fine, let me finish this. What if you drop this, because I mean you're going to tell me the three systems, so it's a bit redundant. So waste, reuse, recycle, move these up a little bit, and then this becomes prominent at the bottom. How can the end life for furniture be supported? Yes. I'm not really sure if you need that statement. Production distribution, use, and end of use, end of life, yeah. Okay. Just curious, because up here you've centered stuff, and here now you've got um, lines. Yeah, we'll keep it left aligned. All right, it looks like you have a white, uh, transparent white block on top of this other stuff. You see how that has more of a, yes, density, but this has more darkness, more contrast than this. I want these to look the most bold and most prominent, and right now, that pulls interest. So how can you get the darkness from these sketches to pull through this vignette, which tells me they're your chosen ideations? All right, so this is two pages. Could you drag that over too? That way this looks like it's cohesive, right? Drag that over, expand your, your words a little bit. And brag about your your testing um, 
You're failing early, failing often. How do you be material efficient and give the capacity to reuse elements of furniture? Yep, I think at some point you gotta talk about PLA. Alright, so you made a system that allows you to connect these things. Like, how much visual communication are you given to the end user with these things and where they should go? And, curious, do I print these at home? Do I print them locally or do you print them? And if this is part of a system, it's not so much like these things that ideally would be like ABS or cast in PLA opposed to 3D printed PLA because they're going to take a lot of weight. All right. I really want to see more of this, right? You created a system. These are the keys to the system. You join these up with other flat pack CNC-able assets. And then you can make all this furniture. And of the furniture, I'm going to show you close-ups of the chair. But for me, it's it's missing part of this part could be used in over here and over here and over here. And if you break it, instead of buying the entire thing, you just get another piece made. I think the graphics have really come to their own. Visually, it looks fine. I'm just questioning some of the story stuff. All right, that's all I can do for now. We'll pick up in just a second. Continuing. All right, Rubik flat pack. All right, so interesting thing with these projects is there's not really much of a problem. Although I'm worried about some of the size. I'm not really sure you need these. One, they're very small. Two, this seems... Mm, okay, I do see some development. I would like all the light colors to be the same. So this has more of a warm yellow and these have a white. If you can adjust it so they're all white, I think that would be good. I built many rough models by twisting the shapes in different ways. So let's get rid of those. I don't think they really benefit so much. Details. All right. So where's our horizon line? Our horizon line is about right here. Um, so it is a bit of a weird Photoshop job, but it looks good to us. So let's leave it. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of orphans, but until I, could you try something and then I'll, I'll let you make the decision whether you want to keep it or not, but put each on the next line and put top on the next line. If it looks better, stay with it. If it doesn't look better, keep it with what you have. Paper, acrylic. Yeah, we're not counting the light bulb, but do you factor in the cost of the the bulb housing? Just curious. I mean, this is really an awesome picture, but do you want to end on the same picture that you started with? I mean, I can see it in better definition, but it's essentially the same view, right? So, is there any other image? Actually, I might start with one of these detail images, maybe that one here. That way I'm interested, but I really don't know um, exactly the intent of the project from the first slide. Other than that, pretty good stuff.
aquí. Facts. I wonder, to bring a little humanity to this, if you just get me an image of Ryan, an image of Kristen, an image of Katie, um, and put them out there, like it doesn't need it, it still speaks for itself, but I think it could bring a little, a level of humanity to that slide. Good. An underappreciated, overworked young designer. Hmm. Sounds like people I know. My concern on this page is this is legible, that's borderline. I think that's too small. In terms of sketch ideation. I need to know some topics as you're pursuing, right? So I think at some point you're like, we know it's a can. It's got to be a can. I wonder if you had some of those uh, conclusions off at the beginning. I do like the red and the green. I can zoom in. I feel like some of these should be pushed closer to one in one another. So it's more like an ellipse of graphics. I could be wrong with this assumption, but that's what I'm thinking. Push these a little bit closer to one another. And same thing with that text. It's big enough to the point where I'm thinking it's important to read, but I can't quite read it right now. Good. I was really looking forward to a sequence of use. Cool. Do we really want to have the entire thing be bolded? I think it needs and because a lot of it could turn up being graphic but I also wait what's up with this oh it's like you slide the page over I'm not really sure if it reads like that right now it looks like a graphical error there's got to be something that says all right here's a page divide and this is the next page where was that all these things are used in tandem right so I don't think a storyboard is going to work because there's a lot more than a storyboard that needs to be communicated. But if you give a hypothetical problem, like I throw away some trash, I go to the store, I interface with my system, I bring it back, and I throw something else away. So that really, I think a video could be very um, useful to explain both product and app side of your solution. In terms of graphic design, Everything looks good. I'm just thinking, how do you explain this thing a little bit better? Um, and then, like, see so your application page and your final page here. Uh, just it's a big chunk of text and it intimidates from reading it. Intimidates me from reading it. Check. Sure. All right, so you've got spreads. Uh, okay, got it. I am curious though, right? So you're gonna have these projects in your portfolio sequentially. So think about 
the image on the left moving to the image of the right. Does this thing fade to pure white where it looks like one consistent image or are you gonna have a little bit of gray in a divider line? Totally, it's an easy fix, but think about your intro page being full width instead of half. Because, I mean, your first one starts like this, but all the rest of them are going to be starting. Or do you just have like, let's imagine you finish a project and in your portfolio, all the pages have like a, a black liner or a black separator. Are you okay with it doing a black fade into this guy? Just some things to think about. Also, think about size, right? Because... So 100 is too close, how about 75? Still too close. Even though I zoom in, maybe. I would definitely consider checking your font size because right now, I know I'm using a 13 inch screen, maybe that's not normal, but if you make it applicable to your lowest common denominator, you won't have that issue. And why don't we go for the Vitrovia man opposed to some dad, dad, mom, children of three. I think that's going to have more of an emotional grasp than someone I can relate to other than this vector Vitruvian man. All right, so we know that the product has to have these qualities, consistency of, eh, of course. Like, would you go to Starbucks if they weren't consistent? So consistency is kind of a given. Order might be good. Balance, like what type of scenarios? I'm hoping you explain that later. And then speed, that's valid. So order, speed, balances, and maybe you'll explain that later. Consistency, I don't know, maybe is there a better word for that, for what you're trying to communicate? So I like this because this is, gives me this comparative brand, lets me know what's else is in the market, what are the competitors. Uh, okay, so you get pros and cons. Is there a subtle way to tell me these are pros and cons without me having to guess or am I thinking too hard on something that's already known as I'm making it more difficult? All right, you get a little bit of a sequence of use on your exploded view. I wonder, excuse me, I wonder if this would be easier to absorb if it's in its compressed nature. Are we a... I'm just wondering. Yes, this is how it works. Typically, I really like sequence of use. But do I need to know that here? Sketches, and this is where you ended up at. Kind of some weird white space happening, though. I know you say you're working on content, so maybe, yeah, yeah, you need to work on some content on this one. It's, I'm a huge fan of models, but typically we go sketches, sketches, models, render. So why did you go sketches, model, hand render, computer render? All right, so you're not that far from being done. I definitely want a sequence of use. You need to go back and reiterate some of the things, right? You said these things are important. So reiterate those things to confirm they're important and confirm that you, you listened to what your hypothetical user said and you brought it to fruition. And then you got to show me... Yes, sequence of use, but also it being in context, wherever this person lives. So pretty good start. Just need to finish it up. I wonder if that previous image is crunchy or is it just my quick look at it wasn't accurate. So just check for that pixelation. I don't know who's studio in, but some of these things look really good. It's like your professor made you go ahead and make a portfolio.
Okay, let's see what the problems are. Two pages sketches, look at you. I might consider a little bit of a change instead of grain, because gray falls into the background. It doesn't have to be green, like red light, green light, but maybe let's borrow some of this almost like blue feel you got here, kind of a bluish gray, and implement it into these um, sketches that have potential. So it's stop clock. Four, yeah, when I see four minutes, I'm like, all right, prove it. Oh, dang, they proved it. Nice. Cool. Next thing I'm thinking is, if you are bringing this heat, how are you, I guess, porting it in? Like, what type of, if you were to cut this thing into a section view, how does the airflow work? Huh. There it is. Also, there's this page repeated. Okay, so maybe this is more, this is more of a functional detail page, and this is more of an itemized detail page. Just wonder what the difference is. Not bad, not bad. I don't like page numbers though. Page numbers can get you in trouble. Oh, sub brands, these wear me out. Hmm, okay. I think you need to increase the size of your headers. It's really, actually, it might be the same size as your body and really should be knocked a bit above. Additionally, you don't have to tell me it's a Coca Cola company. You can just make that the biggest thing on the page and put it here. The reason why is I'm going to know when I'm looking at this that working with the Coca-Cola company, so it's being a bit redundant. Also, a color specification. I want you to line it up with this implied line here. Um, and given, like, what's the problem with most of these? I know you're doing sub-brand identity, like what I told Sarah today. If your first page tells me our task is to create a sub-brand by identifying... Um, the strongest guiding factors from a parent brand, synthesizing and translating that into a sub brand, and then making, what's it gonna call? Like exhibit show materials with that sub brand, then it makes sense. But with most of the problems, let's say we start with Coca Cola, which means you're probably gonna make some type of app. Okay, that, that's exactly what I wanted. Good. All right, so Pro is, I think that's a successful logo. It kind of feels the same way uh, Coke feels. I am curious, what elements, if you were to define Coke in three words, what is it? And then how do you extract those words and put this into another category? Also, I'd like a graphic of this, like the prototypical market you want to get into. An image of that would be nice. Also, that doesn't feel centered. Neither does that. I yeah, feel like it needs to bump left a little bit. Okay, well, let's, let's go back just a notch. You find out who Coke is, you translate it, where I get an image of the scientific experiments online. You get the POP. It's a pamphlet, but is a pamphlet folded up? Okay, cool. Can we flip-flop these? Um, and I would like to see more of your hand if possible, if it is flip-flopped. One is like you always want to bleed um, a hand off the the side of the page. If not, it looks like someone just cut fingers off and that's not very nice. Additionally, these leaders, right now they're about two point font. I think they need to be like either half a point uh, width 
or 0.75. Get another vector. Something's weird with this person's arm. And almost any time you give me numbers, I, I don't really want numbers because if you give me human scale, I uh, see like, all right, it's a 13 year old, maybe he's five foot eight. Uh, I like context giving me dimensions a lot more than I like having technical dimensions. Um, sometimes they're called for, but right here, it doesn't feel like I need to have exact dimensions. Also going back to legibility, right? If you get rid of some of these, make the human larger, maybe overlap a little bit, the human behind the product, then you can scale these things up because that's getting close to not being able to be read. What's up with this big old white spot? I don't, know, I don't remember who I was talking to today. Oh, these are the same things. Is there any way you can help reiterate that this is a orthographic view of what this will be? Because seeing it flat, I, I, I'm trying to figure out how you would fold it. And then I get here. So maybe it's not necessary as long as those two are in close relation with one another. But then again, it was hard for me to put the two together. Question for everybody using QR codes. Do people really use QR codes? Or is it something that is like, it's a good idea, but people don't really do it in, in practice? I'm just... I question the validity of QR codes. Cool technology. Just don't know if it has enough buy-in. All right, back to this. Is it necessary to have this extra red background behind your text, or would it read just fine if you just had white text on a red background? And then finally, um, we'll take some of the words that you described with Coke earlier. It's refreshing, it's a treat, whatever the, th cac the key factors for the item being Coke and the item belonging to Pop and reaffirm that, hey, this final design is successful because it fits into these regions. I think that would be a good secondary addition for this page. Place horse, man. And it needs to be some more final than this. Like, I really can't help you because I came in to the adjective. So, yep, more information. I'll give you more information. Oh, Benny. I wonder how the similarities between the other ones. I do like this. This tells me a lot about her because the other ones where we mentioned that she was an advisor to the stars, this one actually proves it. Okay. I think you got to the prototype too fast, right? We just have, in order to talk about the content that needs to go in this, what all the items need for the baby, how to make it discreet and attractive for the mother, and then what other items in addition to, so we have baby items, we have mom items, we have, well, my items are like two things. So baby items, which is like diapers, bottles, this one's pump, um, 
we call them sanitary. And then another item or another list is just like personal effects, like where to keep your phone, um, keys, pocketbook, checkbook, those things. And that way when I see this, I understand all the things that have to fit into it and gives a bit justification for the the spaciousness of it, maybe. Another thing is like when I see all those things, like, dang, that's a lot of uh, inventory. Where do you put all this stuff? This with more context, I think it would give you more um, potential to explain it. And then I see it, I'm like, okay, these all things had to fit. I didn't believe they fit, but my goodness, they do fit. This one, I want a sequence of use. And I think we could, can we crop more of this person out? Because it's not about the person. It's about what's happening in the bag. But currently, I got a side view of the bag, which isn't the most uh, aesthetically uh, attractive side. And I only see one item coming out. So right now, I don't think this is really doing a ton. I would definitely like a sequence of use. Give me a problem, solve it with the pictures. All right, mom's side. If you're going to do a mom's side, you got to tell me there's a kid's side, which should happen here, right? Is there a way that I can tactily figure out which one is baby's side and which one's mom's side without having a look? Yeah, I need more images of like... I kind of feel like I joked in the glamour shots earlier, but now I only get one good look at the solution. Maybe that's one, and that's two. There's, um, we'll call it the emotional aspect that, we're, uh, that I believe we're missing here. Yes, you saw the functional, but if this thing's ugly, no one's gonna buy it anyways. So I think one page should be dedicated to, like, if you're gonna advertise this in a magazine, what would that page look like? I think that's where I'm at with this one. James Jenkins, right? Let me check if it's the two of you. Yep. Just want to make sure you're calling out who did what. I was looking for a battery. Found it. I feel like a bit too much is bolted here. It's like there's more. Um, there's fewer things that aren't bolted than are bolted. Which kind of is it all the same level of importance and if it is maybe do like two paragraphs instead of one somebody rendered some bubbles and some some I don't know droplets Cool. I think that's pretty essential because you said you doesn't do without an app. It's how can you do it without a cell phone? And then when I see cell phone, I'm like, well, this is true. And then you kind of uh, let's get rid of the hyphenations. But you say that you can call, quote unquote, call without having a phone, which I think is pretty important to your overall system. Um, same thing with uh, Van and Dorsey because it's it's a pretty thick problem. And you are integrating hardware and software. Perhaps a short video would be really beneficial to walk me through how both are essential instead of just one or the other. But other than that, nice.
Les Gumes. It's like, take the S out, so legumes. They smell like peanuts. All right, can we take this, uh, the, pawn, the point size down just a notch? That feels about right. That feels a bit big. Also, maybe knock this back to 90% gray instead of 100% black. All right. Why didn't this full bleed? I mean, just you have all this extra white space. Let me see if you need it. Nah. Let's go and make it full bleed. Also, it couldn't hurt to say like how many weak project this is. Just a thought. No hyphenations. Y'all, seeing so many hyphenations, like, I know I've said it so many times. It's going to become like the, the 20 megabyte thing. If I see it, I'm just going to quit looking at the portfolio because it feels like y'all aren't listening. All right, so what's the problem? What are you trying to achieve? A flag pot Lumiere, where do you start? Personally, I feel like these initial questions are kind of weak. It's not a very strong place to start. What materials should I use? No, like what experience do you want to give? And then the experience and the permeability of the light will dictate what materials you use. Also, manufacturing dictates the material you use. What do the lights around me look like? I don't care. What should they look like, designer? How easy can I manipulate light? Once again, kind of weak questions. I was entranced by the look gradation gave off. That's not very good sentence structure. Lane. Like, are you hearing this? The deeper I fell into this project, the more I attracted my eye became to the delicate layer of flowers. Let's just start here. Kill off, kill off, kill off. Let's start with inspiration. I was really inspired by different types of flowers. I was just and like, give me three types of flowers and what aspects are you attracted um, to them about? And then like the factors I'm attracted to, like permeability, delicate, overlap, um, intrinsicity, intrinsic nature. That way when you do ideation, like you're telling me I wanted to investigate this type of aspect to a lighter. I want to investigate overload and overflow or overlap. And I wanted to investigate permeability and being able to perceive light through layers. That's going to be a lot easier to understand opposed to... I just did some drawings. Additionally, and I've said this before, if you're showing a portfolio that you want to spread, it has to be in spreads. Like I, I, my brain can't put these things together and go, oh, I know what it looks like as a composition. That's your job. You're the designer. You have to communicate that. Spacing, move over. Uh, in terms of legibility, it's fine, but you've got to pick one type of style or one type of so font size. All right, I'm a huge fan of this because this talks about the fact that you're not just designing for aesthetic nature, but you're also having to meet the business side of things. Like, who would buy IKEA furniture if it costs five times what it costs? Nobody. So, like, this is an important part of the design. But I would, instead of their format, make it into your own format using your fonts. And because this is all vector, vector, Let's not do an image. I'd rather do a vector down here. Actually, you already have. So why is this being repetitive? So redo this in your style. Some of the ones I've seen is like a sequence of use because if this, if this is flat pack, Pinocchio cuts it and they send it to somebody, somewhere else. So without 
and starts to know how to put it together, it's a bit um, lacking. Also, try to make sure your white balance is the same. This has more of a dark gray and this has more of an earth tone. Try to make them all consistent. I'm not sure if that's necessary. Like an interesting story, but does it really add to the project? Right now, I don't think so. And then I want one final project, this really big on one page. Let me see, All right, Mark Darcy, go look at Vans. OFT, OTF, Oral, I forget what they're called. All right, so we got two different types of offerings, maybe three. So this is research, and really you gotta explain to me the problem. It's not so much that you're designing for a client, you're designing for a business who wants two types, at least two type of outputs. Or maybe there's three different directions. I don't know, it's your, it's your project. So you don't have to include all of their um, requirements or interest, just the one that you followed it up on. Try not to cut humans off. Sometimes it's, it's necessary, but uh, you know, try to avoid it if possible. So what is the problem? Right now, I don't know. You're approached by CSP to create two types. Um, then you do some market analysis, like what's already in the market and how successful is it? I'm not really sure. I think you need to explain what this oral thin film, yep our oral thin film is and why it's prevalent. Um, but that's not the only type of product you're going up against. So explain where in the market you've got to sit and that might dictate some price or that might dictate some innovation that you're allowed, um, allowed to explore in. I think I'd like a sequence of use. Like, how does this go on my tongue? Does it, do I need to apply it to my finger and then my mouth? Three, two, one. So it closes up inside of it, right? It's a suction cup. But do I need to do this? Like how do I transfer the film from the suction cup to my mouth? I think some sequence of use could be helpful. And then this will make sense if you set up earlier, right? So there's different uh, directions you should take it. Direction one, direction two, here's direction one. Here's direction two. And this really doesn't feel like your style though. I mean, I guess neither does that. It does work. That's just more vibrant. This feels a bit great and honestly a little bit sickly. Is there another way you can communicate how you're going to put these in your mouth? Because it feels like straight out of a medical book. It's a bit weird. Same thing with this. The exploded views are good, but how do I use it? All right, if it is our Roby, and I do like this product solution, um, you got to start off with what is the OnePlus system? No. Roby approached y'all and said, hey, here's a OnePlus system. This is how it works. We want you to put it into these different areas. And then you got to choose the areas, right? Um, research, talk about the problem first. 
like show and communicate the pain of having to like go around my truck four or five times to make sure everything is tightened when there could be a one, not one size fits all, but a much easier solution. This page needs to get reformatted, just a weird white space. Vignettes are usually difficult to work with. And I think because these are pretty good sketches, just make them big. By putting the, the dark vignette behind them, I think it makes it a little bit harder to look at the sketch itself. Model page needs to be redone. Something funky happening over here. And I need like a final sketch that's between these two to know why you're going after it. This makes sense, but this doesn't make sense. And what did you test? And when you tested it, like what did you learn from making that model? VBL for everything, you need to be, the page has really bad spacing. I mean, you could do rule of thirds, have that and be one entire third, VBL one, two, and three, but all these three need equal horizontal spacing. So, my opinion, it should be sequential. I'm not a huge fan of four. Four always leaves you in a situation of having this box. How about one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four. Um, I know it's sequence of use. I, I think on this page, I'd rather opt for um, understand the sequence of use and then tell me it's a sequence of use. So, number one, the description under here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. How about description number one, number one up here? Description number two there. Description number three under. Description number four under. So a reallocation of things on that page. Oh, so you can have... Well, really, you can only have, what, one, two, two of these connected, so why are you showing four connected? I could be wrong, but this is the first time seeing it. I could be wrong. Also, I think this in context would be a lot more compelling than it sitting on a, a screen. So even if you had to Photoshop it on some person strapping down some crazy thing, like something that you knew would float away, like maybe a six-foot inflatable Pac-Man strapped down the back of their truck. Show it on top of that. Give me the context. Cool. Um, Drew, go look at David's. I'm not done working on the final model. Well, good. I'm not done either. Thoughts are that should be full bleed. Let's see if it is full bleed when everybody else drops. Is it my computer or is it the size of the file? All right, saved by the, the drop. Trying to figure out, is this is a white margin on the bottom? Because I don't think it's necessary. Here you have a white margin, but you're using it. Here are the margins up top. Mm, the margins on bottom. Margins on bottom. I still think it should be full bleed. Like there's no need for it, right? I don't think so. What is EDC? I don't know. Everyday carry. All right, so what's the problem? What do you gotta fix? All right, you need these things cool. You have all these things cool. Well, there really wasn't a lot of development though. Everyday carry. Well, for you as a designer, what is the everyday carry? Or what's wrong with these current solutions? Let 
I'm not really comfortable with you solving the problem right here and then just putting it together. So what are different ways to get to this point? Not that it can't be a short project, but like there's, it feels like there's no iteration and there's no exploration of what the solution could be. Is that your first solution is the right solution, which it could be. I just most of the time I didn't. Hmm. Okay. Why is the of paint bags kind of sitting funny? Also, if you just hit enter and save money at the bottom, I think it will look more visually appealing. Pazzy throwaway cash system. Okay. Yep, why don't we compost? What would this look like if it was in color instead of black and white? Because I should be attracted to that target area, but then there's another level of me knowing what these products are. And black and white, I think, takes a bit of that away. Let me see. I think I feel like marketing analysis should be at the top because most of your headings are at the top. Actually, all your headings are at the top. So consistency, bring marketing analysis up here. Drop that lower left a little bit bigger. I'd like to see it in color. Why don't we compost? Not really sure how necessary this image is, but until I got a better suggestion, I don't know what to tell you what to do. <sighs> All right. Fun. I'm cool with all this. It's a lot to discern, like it's a pretty busy page. But it depends on how these next pages unfold. Is I'd want a sequence of use. Oh, that's really redundant, isn't it though? Does a video? I oh, don't know. What I like about this is out of sight, out of mind. Or hidden in plain sight. It's a Procter and Gamble. Gamble thing. I think if you sequence of use, there's a lot of things that you identified as being important that you can explain. Worms, layers, modularity, tote. I think it makes sense. It's just I think adding a sequence of use would like help confirm how easy and simple because people didn't do it because not familiar, lack of space, lack of experience, perception of being gross. I think you could answer a lot of those questions with a sequence of use. It's staring at me with its weird owl eyes. Will fix shadow. Thank you. It's crunchy. The shadow is. After the word, either after the word and or after the word word hit enter, get that next line. But even what does delicate mean? Elegant, subtle, and fragile. Some of the spacing, like you see how the spacing is different between uh, images. For me, that's a big no. I wouldn't mind if all these images were the same size, and I think you can get them mostly there. Right, so scale up, scale up, scale up, scale up. If you run out of space, take everybody, scale it down just a little bit. But I like things to be even and gridded out. Visual. All right, when you are doing the visuals, I want you to integrate. What does it mean to be elegant, subtle, and fragile?
This is really good. I like this. What you could do is like just be honest about your process. Or I went to sketching, then I went to modeling, then went back to sketching. I think it's perfectly fine. I do think a digital render would be helpful. Also, the material choice that's going to be pretty important because elegant, fragile, subtle. It looks like a, kind of like a monster. So try to lighten up the visual appearance. When you get over into, we'll say, sketchbook. Yep. Okay, good. I'm like, all right, you're going to Photoshop it in. Well, where is it? So I think you know what you got to do. All right, compress one it is. Fuduchu. This page is missing something. This is weird. Just hear me out, try it. If it works, keep it. If it doesn't, my bad. But let's take this statement. I want you to left align it here, and then I want you to get a vector dog paw and put it right here and see what it looks like. I just feel like that could be primary or this could be primary. Right now they're fighting. If you put a color, let's pick the thing color is Viduchu, so kind of a deep red. I was like, hey, start here. Biggest problem, maybe bold, get bored and destroy. Mm, if you are saying you and Ada, I think it works best at the beginning. Like, of course you did. It's a design project. I hope you did these things. So, like, to me, that's a non page. I think your words need to be bigger because like the symbols yes they make sense but keep in mind most people haven't seen a chart like this before so if you're not overly explicit it's hard for them to get it most important and most emotional so it's got to be cost effective and friendly and cleanable right that's to me what I'm seeing the most important things yes yes Long lasting, I guess so. I do like the color coding, right? So it matches in the color scheme, but how do I know what ones are working at, which ones aren't? Typically, the ones that are bigger. Also, this is a little bit hard to read. Perhaps this sentence should be right aligned, or this paragraph should be right aligned. Are we looking at spreads? I don't think so. I mean, these are already either one-ups or spreads. So this page seems a bit dull. I'd like to see some preliminary and that being the final. Not just... I th it's a pretty big jump from here to here. So what's the in-between? Please, for the love, clean that up. I might be tempted instead of all this give me a orthographic cross section of it being compressed and then right here being popped out have a little pop thing and if you don't want to do that just send my illustrate long give me my lips that pop here I do make these like real web pages because right now it's like you did the graphic and you just slapped it on a portfolio page.
Is it possible to do a rule of thirds, right? So one, two, three instead of one, two. Also, what if what would this look like if you took a 0.25 or a 0.5 line and rounded around the edge? Instead of being black, maybe a dark gray. And like I said earlier, I'd really like to see another version of this. It does explain your solution, but like an Adolf Hitler where this good boy is wearing a hat and Adolf Hitler has been dismembered, it'd be a really good addition. All right, Benjamin, you can finish. You can do it. Let's see, Shoemake. Did we talk about this earlier today? Yes. No. All right, Harp Redesign. And your first job is to explain what's lacking in the original design. This is what it is. Cool. What's the problem with it? Is there another image you can put over here? Also, I feel like these guys might be a bit too big for what you're trying to do. It's a bit gaudy. So if there's another image like this one, put it here, scoot over pros and cons. And then what if you pros are in kind of a mustardy orange and then cons are in like a burgundy and then new call outs instead of this just an idea we'll take better photos cool what about resonance testing I just like the word resonance Okay, so if you're already ideating, what things are you trying to solve? Improve on the pros, get rid of the cons, um, increase resonance, will be done here. It's not really ideation, this is just one idea. That's still just one idea. What is this, Harptoons? Is that your, well, your strings over here. So what is this? Also, it feels like you just took an image and threw it on the page. Well, good, that's what I did. Well, that's why it doesn't look right. This is it. Yeah, this is an ugly photo. That's okay. I think I think it'd be better, right, if you just clip this entire thing out and then make a shadow and put it on top of your graphics. Also. You know how much I like seeing this in human hands. Why do we go back and do a digital one when you made the real one? Making a real one, and, and four times out of five, it's more impressive than making a digital one. Anybody who has a description can do this. It's harder to make the, the whole dang thing work. Are these detail shots, or is this a sequence of use? <sighs> in conclusion, show me that you're solving these things. Get to the prototype. Sequence of use. If it is sequence of use. I'd rather see one wing. Which page do I want? I want this one. This gives me a little bit more information where they are pretty same. So I'd rather have that big. And then you explain, hey, these are all the positive qualities. This is what it gives you. And for me, this isn't anything. So it stops here. Yeah, kid, I don't know what to do this yet. Typically, right, you gotta start explaining to me, Dragon Boats are great, you gotta explain to me what are the problems that we're having. You could do it with something like this. 
this is a bit hard to what's up with why are there green boxes to the left and the right it's like you have a page here you have a page here if the green's supposed to be some kind of graphic element it's just like it's it's not working there is no graphic design heck there's not really any hacker in the page either <laughs> alright next one I need to know what type of problems are you trying to solve and then once you have those four or five factors identified I want you to show me how you're solving them in the sketching you make the prototype you test the prototype you learn from the prototype and then you make a final Just wilding. I can take this information and make it look more doggy. That way it's not just bland. Yeah, I don't know any of this here. Other than that, it's a pretty big number. All this, I don't know what that is. I think you owe me a little bit of like, so what? I think you could just tell me this in facts because like, overwhelming, the price point, $30 your cap, right? Drops sharply. And the largest pet owning population is... 26 well then you don't want to go for these population because like these people voted for the thing that they're probably not going to like so you want to be in this sweeter spot right so maybe an explanation why you're targeting this demographic instead of just circle graphs and then you see how this led up to that, right? Right now I'm not seeing a correlation. I know there is because of the pups. Go look for leaves on these these two pages here. Yep, I see what you're trying to do. Good file image. I think this one needs call outs or something. The problem is you really don't want to capitate you don't want to cut up the human body. That one has lead off to the right. Maybe this has a box around it and call outs talking about, hey, we built like it's supposed to be dismantled. It's part of the the enjoyment. Alright. I haven't given you a lot of feedback, probably because I gave lead a lot of feedback, so good take a look at hers. My biggest problem right now is there's very little design on each page, it's just things just dropped on them. So I'm not really sure you need as many pages as you need, you just need to consider one thought, one page. So these two can be by one thought, one page. These may be one thought, one page, or a segue better. And then how do you condense some of this information? Because like it's not that it's bad information, it's just a lot of boring charts and I don't I have to infer what you're meeting instead of you being explicit post it later post it earlier I just want to make sure I'm clicking on the right one. I 
I think you can drop off commissioned. Your mission was to create a, a traveling exhibit for the state of Alabama showcasing involvement in World War One. What are some things you need to do in this project? Like what type of field do you have to achieve? What type of assets do you need to produce? Branding, I, I would like to see more exploration than one, two, three. So maybe two pages. Hard to read, right? So if you got black on top of gray, just kind of difficult. The vertical spacing could be fixed on that. So what do you need to do in this exhibit design to make it successful? It's, it's two things, right? So it's the, the technical aspects, but also the emotional aspects of how do you best showcase the efforts of Alabamians, both men and women. Okay, I mean, I didn't read anything. I was just looking at the, the graphics, which basically tells me we're going to go into it, look at the exhibit. Right? And these are always pretty difficult to, to communicate this information. Also, this thing won some awards, didn't it? So, go ask you in if there's any extra stuff you can drop in here. I would like this to have two pages, though. Like maybe say, all right, this is graphic number one, graphic number two, graphic number three. The next page, show me a flat version of that graphic. Cool. Alright, I'm not so, I don't care the definition of the word stable, mostly because I can do this for myself. If you had to pick three words, a descriptor of stable, what would they be? Because you can't define the word stable with stable. Also, these are really knockback, I can't really see what they are. Um, and when you pick the imagery, you want to pick imagery that you can take visual language from. So are there visual elements you can take from this being grounded, even this being twisted? Elephants are heavy, but why are they stable? I think the reason why you did this is because they need to be resketched. And at some point in your project, you've got to go back and resketch these things. So I think instead of trying to hide the fact that these are bad sketches, just fix the sketches. I'll expand that into two pages. So one page of sketch, sketches go into models, models go into your final solution. Instead of filling out these half to bunch up on here. I mean, really, if you go back and reduce sketches, then it's not bad to show an entire page of sketches. I'm wondering if you have any more models. Um, there is a possibility that's, imagine this is the next page. You lightly show a couple of sketches and you show how they turn it into models. Lightly sketches, went into models. Um, and I can tell that, yes, this is a level of progression. Final solution. Cool. Which you... What I think you need to do is the things up here, which help you define as strength, what are characteristics, you got to reiterate here as the characteristics at the bottom. It is stable because reason one, two, and three. I like what you're trying to do here. 
but I'm not sure if the resolution of the picture is high enough, and I definitely know that's too fuzzy. So yes, do this, but do it again, do it better.